Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kaida. <laughs> What's the intro again? Have you ever wondered why your aunties and uncles wore the clothes they wore in the 80s or 90s? Well, this video is dedicated to the fashion icons who made waves on the continent and influenced all of us on what we wore. So this video is the African fashion icons of the 80s and 90s. These are the OGs, the musicians, the artists, and the politicians. There are a little bit of gems here and there of my childhood in the 90s, so I really enjoyed compiling this list and filming this video. Please stay tuned because I had so much fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. For all topics, African fashion and business tips, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be in the know whenever I upload a new video every Sunday. Now, let's get started. If you don't know these 10 notes, you did not grow up in the 90s in Africa. Like these 10 notes, everybody knows which song this is and who sang it because on the top of my list today is this person. So if you guessed Kanda Bongoman, you are correct. That was Kanda Bongoman born Bongo Kanda in 1955. He is a Congolese circus musician who revolutionized the genre by encouraging the guitar solos that went on forever. These were the days when your mama and your daddy would dance on the dance floor for 10 minutes to one song. Kanda Bongoman is our first African style fashion icon for today. The second African style fashion icon is Belia Bell. Known as the queen of Congolese and African rumba, Belia Bell has a beautiful soprano and the second export from Congo. Something about Congo churns out these amazing musicians and Belia Bell is one of the most famous Congolese musical exports of the 80s and 90s. She is a fashion icon because a lot of women were influenced by her style using the kitenge or the print cloth in her videos as well as just being a fabulous woman. She was Africa's first transcontinental diva and was famous for her sultry soprano. The third on our list is President Oloshogun Obasanjo of Nigeria, he served from 1999 to 2007 as the civilian president and previously from 1976 to 1979 as a military president. President Obasanjo was known for never wearing a suit and was always seen in an agbada when serving ceremonial or state functions. The fourth style icon is Yvonne Chaka Chaka, born Yvonne Machaka in South Africa. She's known as the Princess of Africa and as a young performer, Yvonne was the first black child to appear on South African television in 1981 during apartheid era of South Africa. Many of you might remember Yvonne Chaka Chaka's songs such as Umkomboti, which is one of my favorite songs and Mama Land, as well as Thank You Mr. DJ, which also one of my favorite songs of hers. The fifth African style icon is Kenneth Kaunda. He was the first president of Zambia and also was very known for a particular style of suit, which was later baptized into the Kaunda suit. Kenneth David Buchizia Kaunda was born on the 28th of April in 1924 and his signature Kaunda suit influenced a lot of your uncles and your dads and your, maybe not cousins, maybe your uncles and your dads to wear this suit. I know. Please comment below if your uncle, your father, your grandfather wore a Kaunda suit because I know at least five people in my childhood who rocked a Kaunda suit proudly. So President Kenneth Kaunda is number five on my list as the African fashion icon. And number six on my list is Miriam Makeba. She is one of my favorite vocalists to come out of Africa in the 60s and 70s and I mean it would be wrong not to include her on this list even though she came 
a little bit earlier than the 80s and 90s but Miriam Makeba has this style about her that that screams regal dignity and African pride she was a very vocal activist and um, she was even exiled from South Africa because of her activism and was later accepted to come back home and last but definitely not least because this this it's not one particular person it's actually a whole mass of people who influenced your uncle your dad your cousin to wear this and this fashion icon or these fashion icons are the circus musicians collectively which includes Franco and the TPOK Jazz, Tabule, Kofi Olomide, all these people somehow convinced our relatives to wear their pants up here. <laughs> Back in the 90s and 80s, this was appealing fashion trend. Not so much today. However, there is a man known as Sootman is trying to bring this trend back which i think let it die bro just let this trend die as much as i like to appreciate fashion trends that are born in africa this one is one i'm okay with saying quaheri to because nobody looks good with their pants over here i think it took off for letting me borrow this video and i'll link also link to the original video in the description box below please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you are always up to date with a new upload every week also give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if i forgot any fashion icon that you think should have been included in this list comment below and let me know maybe i might compile a different list or a second list for other fashion icons i'm sure there are many out there if there's one from your country that you think needs to be recognized for their influence in african fashion please let me know and until next time bye bye